Lesson one, the stories we carry. Understanding how past experiences shape us. Every person you meet is a compilation of their past experiences, both joyful and painful. Stoic philosophy teaches us to understand that these experiences mold individuals into who they are today. Imagine two people who both experience loss. One may become more resilient while the other succumbs to fear. Our past shapes us, but Stoicism reminds us not to judge quickly, because if we had lived the same experiences, we too might act the same. Through compassion and understanding, we can interact with others in a way that honors their journey without being swept up in frustration or misunderstanding. Take a child who grew up in an environment filled with warmth and love. This child is likely to become an optimistic adult. Compare this to another child raised in an environment of neglect or harshness. They may struggle with self-worth and trust. When you encounter someone acting cold or distant, instead of judging them, ask yourself how you might behave if you had lived their life. This approach allows you to meet others with empathy rather than criticism. Lesson two, the language of the heart, embracing different communication styles. Communication styles vary dramatically and misunderstandings often arise when we expect others to communicate the same way we do. Stoic philosophy advises us to embrace the diversity in communication to foster better relationships and a more peaceful life. Some people are direct and concise, while others speak with more nuance and detail. Recognizing that these differences stem from personal experiences and personality traits allows us to navigate relationships with greater ease. Imagine a workplace scenario where a colleague speaks with a sense of urgency, often delivering information quickly and bluntly. To someone who values careful deliberation, this approach might come across as cold or dismissive. However, Stoicism encourages us to consider that this colleague's directness might simply be an expression of their efficiency and focus. On the other hand, a person who communicates more elaborately may be seen as unfocused, but they could be someone who is deeply invested in clarity and inclusiveness. The key is to remember that communication styles are not right or wrong, they are different. Stoic philosophy invites us to adopt a perspective that seeks to understand rather than to impose our own standards on others. When we become more aware of these differences, we free ourselves from irritation and frustration allowing space for compassion and acceptance. Lesson three, strength in adversity, how our responses to stress define us. Stress is an inevitable part of life, but how we respond to it is what defines us. Stoicism teaches that we cannot control external events, but we can control how we respond to them. This perspective empowers us to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than threats to our peace of mind. When we face difficulties, whether it's the loss of a job, a personal setback, or an unexpected crisis, our reaction determines whether we thrive or falter. Consider the example of two people who lose their jobs. The first spirals into anxiety, focusing on what has been lost and fearing an uncertain future. The second, however, views the situation as an opportunity to explore new avenues and develop skills that might lead to unexpected growth. The difference between these two reactions lies in how each person prepares their mind for adversity. The stoic principle that you have power over your mind, not outside events, encourages us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Lesson four, seeing beyond first impressions. The role of judgment in our lives. Judgment is a natural part of human experience. But Stoicism reminds us that judgments are often flawed and based on incomplete information. We tend to make snap judgments about others based on a single interaction or appearance. But this rush to judgment can lead us to misunderstand people and situations. Stoicism teaches us to pause before judging and to recognize that we rarely know the full story. Imagine meeting someone who seems aloof or distant. Your instinct might be to judge them as unfriendly or arrogant. However, Stoic philosophy asks us to consider that this person might be dealing with personal struggles we know nothing about. Perhaps they are navigating a difficult situation in their life, and their apparent coldness is not a reflection of their character, but of their current emotional state. Epictetus taught that it's not things that upset us, but our judgments about things. This principle reminds us that our judgments are subjective and often shaped by our own biases and experiences.
When we judge others harshly, we create unnecessary barriers that prevent us from forming meaningful connections. But when we learn to control our judgments and approach others with curiosity and compassion, we open ourselves up to deeper understanding and empathy. Lesson five, embracing insecurity, finding strength and vulnerability. Insecurity is a universal human experience, no matter how successful or confident someone may appear on the outside. Stoicism teaches us to accept insecurity as a natural part of life, rather than something to be feared or avoided. By accepting our insecurities, we can find peace and strength within ourselves, instead of constantly seeking validation from external sources. Imagine someone who seems to have it all, a thriving career, a loving family, financial security, yet they are still plagued by a fear of losing what they have. This underlying anxiety prevents them from fully enjoying the present moment. Stoic philosophy encourages us to shift our focus away from what we cannot control. The future, the opinions of others, the uncertainty of life, and instead, focus on what is within our control, our own thoughts and actions. In everyday life, this might mean accepting that relationships will sometimes falter, careers may shift, and material possessions can be lost. By embracing this truth, we liberate ourselves from the constant fear of loss. Rather than allowing insecurity to undermine our peace of mind, we can use it as an opportunity to strengthen our inner resilience. The more we accept that insecurity is part of being human, the less power it holds over us. Lesson six, navigating self-interest in relationships. Balancing love and ego. It is easy to idealize relationships as purely selfless connections, but Stoicism teaches us to acknowledge that self-interest is an inherent part of all human interactions. This awareness doesn't diminish the beauty of relationships, but it does make them more realistic and sustainable. Recognizing the presence of self-interest allows us to approach our relationships with clarity, honesty, and maturity. Consider a father who sacrifices much for his children. While his actions are undoubtedly driven by love, there may also be a subconscious hope that his children will care for him in old age. Or think of a friend who is always there for you. While their kindness is genuine, they might also appreciate the emotional support you provide in return. Understanding that personal interest is a natural aspect of relationships doesn't make them less meaningful. Instead, it offers us the opportunity to build connections that are based on mutual respect, rather than unspoken expectations or idealized notions of selflessness. When we approach relationships with awareness of both love and ego, we free ourselves from the disappointment that can arise when our expectations aren't met. Lesson seven, reflections of the mind. How our thoughts shape the world around us. Our thoughts and emotions don't just reside within us, they influence how we perceive the world and interact with others. Stoicism teaches that the world we experience is a reflection of our inner state. When we harbor negative thoughts or insecurities, we are more likely to project those feelings onto others, shaping our relationships and interactions in ways we may not even realize. Imagine a person who feels insecure about their own abilities. When they see others succeed, they might respond with envy or criticism, convinced that the success of others diminishes their own worth. But in reality, this reaction is not a reflection of others. It is a mirror of the person's own inner doubts. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, our life is what our thoughts make it. This profound insight reminds us that our perceptions of the world are shaped by our internal dialogue. If we allow negative emotions to govern our minds, we will see negativity in everything around us. However, if we practice mindfulness and focus on cultivating positive, compassionate thoughts, we will experience the world as a place of growth and connection. Lesson eight, Understanding differing values, living in harmony with diversity. One of the greatest sources of conflict in human relationships arises from differences in values. What is important to one person may hold little meaning to another, and this can easily lead to misunderstandings or tension. Stoicism teaches us to respect these differences rather than impose our own values on others. For example, one person might prioritize career success above all else while another values family time over professional advancement. Both approaches are valid, but without understanding each other's values, conflicts can arise. One person may feel neglected when their partner works long hours, 
while the other may feel unappreciated for their hard work. Stoicism invites us to view these differences with acceptance, understanding that everyone's journey is unique. Instead of trying to change others or force them to adopt our values, we can appreciate the diversity of perspectives and learn from them. This acceptance allows us to live in harmony with those around us, even when we don't share the same priorities. Lesson 9. The Power of Forgiveness Letting Go for Inner Peace Forgiveness is one of the most challenging yet liberating acts a person can undertake. Stoic philosophy encourages us to practice forgiveness, not just for the benefit of others, but primarily for ourselves. Holding on to grudges and resentment only serves to imprison the mind, clouding our thoughts and disrupting our inner peace. Imagine a scenario where a close friend betrays your trust. The initial response might be anger, disappointment, and a desire for retribution. These feelings, while natural, can consume you, taking away your peace of mind. Stoicism teaches that the actions of others are beyond our control, but how we choose to respond is entirely within our power. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, Forgive others for their misdeeds as you would have them forgive yours. This insight highlights the importance of empathy and understanding in the process of forgiveness. We are all flawed, and just as we seek understanding when we falter, we should offer the same to others. Lesson 10. Acceptance of Change. Embracing Life's Impermanence. Change is an inevitable part of life. Whether it's the loss of a job, the end of a relationship, or the passing of time, change often brings discomfort and fear. Stoicism teaches us to embrace change, recognizing it as a natural part of existence that we cannot control. By accepting life's impermanence, we free ourselves from the anxiety that comes with resisting change. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius wrote, The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make of it. This profound truth encourages us to view change not as something to fear, but as an opportunity for growth and adaptation. Life is in constant flux, and resisting this reality only leads to suffering. Consider the changes that occur in relationships. Friendships may fade, families evolve, and personal priorities shift. While it's natural to feel a sense of loss when these changes occur, Stoicism reminds us that everything in life is transient. Instead of clinging to the past, we can embrace the present moment and look forward to new experiences. In daily life, this might mean adapting to a new job, moving to a different city, or even facing the challenges of aging. Instead of viewing these changes as negative, we can choose to see them as opportunities to learn and grow. By shifting our perspective, we transform fear into acceptance and resistance into peace.